So we started our journey with Mandarin Ducks about two years ago. It was, I think, in May or June of 2019, where we hatched out six Mandarin duck eggs. We actually got them as a pre-sale off of eBay, and all six of them hatched, and these are two of them right here. And then last year, the Mandarins hatched out five standard color Mandarins, but they all turned out to be males. And that really threw off our numbers, so we've kept them separate in a different coop all year, hoping to balance out our numbers this year with this year's hatch. So this year's hatching started back in April, so we want to get you caught up with what happened this year. So typically, mandarin ducks will lay eggs once a year. They'll lay them in March or April, and they'll sit on them for 28 to 32 days, hatch out a batch of 10 to 12 ducklings. But we have four pairs in our coop, and so we were hoping for a really good year this year, and so we want to show you what happened with the mandarins. Third one. So each year after the hatch, the mama duck will jump out of the box, and the ducklings should follow her. Oh my goodness. And that's what we started to see the next night. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six little babies, yay. So then I wanted to look into their nesting box to see if there were any other ducklings after these six had gotten out. How cute. <laughs> There's so many more. One, two, three, four, five more. Oh, I think there's one that's dead. After the mama duck jumps out of the box, that's when the issues can occur. There can be issues like this, where ducklings die while hatching, and if the rest of the ducklings don't jump out of the nesting box to get warmed up by mom, yeah. they may die in the box. Oh no. These guys are dying. Okay. Why'd you guys die tonight? Gosh. You were good last night. Are you too cold? Are you too cold? Just barely. I'm just barely alive. Mama, come on this one up. Come on, little one. We gotta warm you up. This one's struggling. Shoot, this little guy was moving since when I brought him in. Oh. And now he's not moving at all. We're still moving when we had this one in the mudroom. I got the incubator right here that we had just used for a hatching project. I think it's too late, but just one last little effort to give him some warmth in case he is just on the edge of dying. Well, we just had a wild goose chase or wild duck chase with one of the white female mandarins. Got out when I went to pick up these ducklings and we decided to take them all out. We were letting the, the mom and the father, the the white male and female, the white male is called air male, were protecting their young, but just not well enough. Some of them just weren't getting warm and it's gonna be really cold the next couple of days. So we had to take them away and get them some warmth. So we're bringing them inside our quail shed to take them into the brooder. And they are really good at jumping. There's five of them in here. One more in here. My best jumper. All right, little buddy. You guys are gonna stay in here now. We've got five of them in here. We've got two that were looking really weak that we took inside. Keep a better eye on them tonight and keep them with our button quail so we can try to nurse them back to health and then we'll get them back out here as well. Okay, I'm getting out. So unfortunately, both mandarin duck babies that we took inside that were not doing well, they ended up passing away. And so we went from 11 down to five in a matter of less than 24 hours, which was really disappointing. We keep going back to the moment that we saw that so many had hatched, that we had six out, I think there were six out of the box and there were five 
inside the nesting box and we thought is there anything that we could do differently could we have known that they were going to die that night the whole thing is that when the mother jumps out that the rest of them are supposed to follow and they're supposed to jump out and we thought that was going to happen and it looks like a couple of them did but most of them didn't that's when nature takes over and that's when the the strong survive and the the weak ones don't and the the parents seemed to understand that and there were five or six that were doing really well the ones that were still alive the next morning they all ended up passing away and so only the five that were doing really well that had already jumped out are the only ones that made it and for the people that wanted us to leave the mandarin ducklings back with their parents we normally would be all for that but tonight it's getting down into the 30s it's going to snow here in a couple hours and we're towards the end of April, so the weather's is a little bananas. Mandarin ducklings would normally hatch out this time of year and be just fine, but right now it is so cold out, they just wouldn't survive. The parents are not like other ducks that would sit on their young and keep them warm. So I'm glad we separated them out. Hey bud. If you watched our video about selling our eggs on eBay, you saw that we put some of them in the incubator because the sale happened and we weren't able to get the eggs to any legitimate buyer. Unfortunately, none of those eggs ended up hatching. Our nine eggs that we were incubating from our mandarins didn't work out. And so I'm tossing them out. I think we just had to hold on to them too long before we had to end up incubating them. But Coco, our one standard color female, was on a bunch of eggs. Let's check that out. Didn't get all the way out of the egg. Oh, this one hatching. Awesome. All right, we'll let her do it. Oh man, that was another one too. Can we put him in the incubator? We don't want to see another dead duckling out here. It looks. Could be standard color, I'm not sure. Oh, that one's pipping. That one's pipping. That one's got a little pip in it. Got all the hatch ones over here. And it has a hatch over here. Okay. Put them right up on in that back corner there. This is our Brinzy OV Easy Advance 100 incubator. It's our cabinet incubator that we are currently hatching hookbill ducks and guineas and some pheasant eggs in and they all ended up hatching later on but we wanted to give these mandarin ducklings the best chance possible to hatch since Coco was throwing some of her eggs out. A little bit. Awesome. We just had our third little standard color mandarin hatch. These guys are awesome. Very excited because we've had a lot of males, a lot of standard color males. And we only have one standard color female, Coco. She didn't do great in this hatch. She knocked out a few out of her nest. So we end up having to move them over into the Brinzy cabinet incubator. And then now we're moving them to the Brinzy Maxi Advance just so they can sit and relax separate of the eggs that are hatching over here. These guys are so fast. We've got three little guys hatched. I've got to keep them in here. Over here, it's pretty high up. If I don't put the lid on the cover on top of where they hatch, they'll bail off the sides and fall down to the bottom, which won't hurt them, but Oh my gosh, I think we have another one down there. I hadn't seen that one. I didn't even know about that one. Oh my goodness, it was at the bottom of the incubator. We got four of them, yay! Oh, that's awesome. All right, bud, you can go in with your friends. I'll be excited to get them over to the brooder and our white ones that hatched about a month ago are getting huge. I've got to show you how they're doing too. At the end of May, we ended up collecting 14 eggs out of a nesting box that the mandarins hadn't sat on. We moved them over into the incubator and then in June, we found eggs in the nesting box that the mandarins had been sitting on, but they decided to give up on them before they hatched. Well, we had a mandarin duck, our white mandarin, end up giving up on these eggs. And there's 11 of them in here. It looks like one broke in the nest. I think she gave up on them just a day or two early. It might be too late for me to get them in the incubator, but I'm gonna try it. I have a handful of other eggs that I think were old and they end up not hatching hoping to get a few more mandarins out of this season. If none of these eggs hatch, we have one more broody mandarin that's sitting on, I think maybe four or five eggs. Right now we just have seven so far this year. Alright, Oh my love. Go him. You're such a fragile thing, I know. 
And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm it all And oh my love Good job, that's a big turkey Don't worry yeah. about the cold just yet the trees haven't started to shed Just feel the summer sun As it warms up there Duck eggs Every couple weeks we move these chicken tractors and we move them up a space So we're going to do that today Alright, so we're just moving our chicken tractors today And this is a perfect time whenever we move them We have four white ducks here, so that means Juan is off the nest here and see what's going on with these eggs. One, two, three, four, five. I think there's five eggs in here. Fortunately, I think we're well past 30, 32 days. I think we're probably in the 40 day range by this point. At some point she's gonna give up on the eggs, so I think we're probably too late. Not sure what happened, because I'm sure I candled them a few weeks ago and they looked like there was development, but maybe it's just too hot for them now. They just couldn't hatch. Come on, The seasons come and they go But I hope you know that I, I won't Alright, so we're finally back to current time. This is, this is today for us and for you. And so I want to show you the mandarin ducks that hatched. And even though it was a disappointing year and we still need to get our numbers balanced out. It was still a pretty exciting year for our mandarin. So this year, our first hatch consisted of these five white mandarin ducklings. And now they're three months old. We still can't quite tell if they're male and female. This one has a little bit of brown on it. Typically, that's only a trait that's on the, the males. I don't see a change in the beak color, or if, if there is, they all have the, the pinkish hue. And then we have two of the standard colors that hatch, which is exciting because we really need some females. But I'm a little bummed because I already see a little I think I see a little coloring here on the back tip, which we don't need any more males. We really need some females. So if anybody has some Mandarin females, we'd definitely be up for a trade with you. So this year we ended up getting something like 60 to 70 eggs. And this year was our first year that we tried to take away the eggs once they had filled a, a nesting box. We started to collect the eggs, take them away, and then we either incubated them or we did sell about three batches of eggs. And so ultimately, even though we only got seven mandarins from this group, we were excited to see some growth in the amount of eggs they produce. And we know once we get them to the aviary that they'll be much more productive when they have more space, they have their own pond. I think they'll do really great in there. And I see that our white duck has not got back on these eggs, so I think she's officially abandoned them. The final five eggs, let's see if anything developed. Hopefully they don't explode on me. Nothing in there. No, nothing in egg number two. Go ahead. You can see in here, it's basically like scrambled eggs when they've just been incubating an egg for a month and nothing's developed. Oh, for three. Nothing developed in there. It was a little different, but nothing developed. Oh, exploded. It's usually a pressure buildup and usually means there's nothing developed. Yeah, 0 for 5. It was after breeding season and fertility was down. Oh, this stinks. Mm -hmm. 